Hi there, how's it going guys? I'm recording this video today to answer a request from subscribers on YouTube. I did a lot of search on this topic, guys, I mean how to export a Lambic file from Moto straight inside Unreal Engine 5. I couldn't really find anything worth mentioning, guys. So for this reason, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to export the fur or the hair from Moto, and we're gonna be using three softwares, Moto, Blender, and uh, Unreal Engine 5. Okay, uh, so let's get right into it. All right, so first of all, um, I wanna turn on the Catmull Clark subdivision surface in order to see the hair in the 3D viewport, guys. And to do that, I'm gonna hit Shift tab on the keyboard. And let Moto work on that. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna do the same with the strength here. Hit Shift tab. And so I'm gonna show you my shader tree. As you can see, I got two different materials. And one for the strand. Okay. And another one for the rest of the hair. And so uh, what I wanna do now is turn this fur into guides and to do that I'm gonna select my firm material here I'm gonna go to the properties tab for materials I'm gonna go all the way down here under GL display and if you take a look at display density and now it is set to hundred and twenty percent and that's way too much guys so what I want to do is set this to forty percent I'm gonna set my max segments here to 45. Okay, next I wanna click on bake GL fur to guides. That's gonna give me the guides we need. Uh, just call it as mm, whatever to your liking. I'm gonna call this bake set one and click okay. All right, those are the guides we need to export, guys. But before we do that, let's turn the strand into guides as well. So I'm gonna select the material and click on Bake GL for to guides. I'm gonna call this Bake Set Two and click OK. Oh, that's really fast. Um, okay, so now you can even turn uh, the material off. We don't need them to be on because we have the guides. And what I want to do now is select this and this one, go to scene and right click and click on merge meshes. Okay, click OK. And now I'm going to delete those polygons. We don't need that. Uh, so let me turn off this guy here. I'm going to hit three on the keyboard. I'm going to select all the polygons. I'm going to delete them. Okay. Okay, so now we're ready to export this guy here. So to do that, right click on this scalp here and so, um, click on export selected layers and you want to choose Wavefront RPG from the drop down menu here and make sure you tick just layers. So we're going to export, um, model's going to export uh, just the selected stuff. Okay, click OK. And let me navigate through my folder. Okay, here. And I'm gonna call this hair test and click on save. All right, so it's time now to open up Blender. I'm gonna open Blender 3.5 and I'm gonna show you what happens uh, if I import the obj file as is so let's select everything and just delete and go to file import and you want to choose wave front obj legacy uh, i'm going to select my obj file and make sure to click on geometry and keep vertex order and click on import so you'll notice now right off the bat that mm, you'll end up with a horrible spiky mesh as you can see here okay that's not what we want we want to see our lovely uh, spline here so let's delete this 
and that's because uh, you need to modify the obj file uh, with a text editor guys I'm gonna show you how to do that right away and so let's go to my documents I'm gonna right click on the obj file and I'm gonna open it with my notepad you can use any text editor to your liking so I'm gonna open it up and if you scroll this all the way down here we have a whole bunch of letter F here and that's what you want to replace with a letter L I think the F stands for face face polygons or stuff like that I'm not sure I might be mistaken about this guys so anyway and what you want to do is um, go to search and click on replace and in find what you want to find the letter F okay and replace it with the letter L okay so now you can click on replace all as you can see here uh, 23,533 occurrences were replaced in entire file okay so at this point you can close this save don't forget to save and you can close this now and let's open up blender again and click on file import web front obj legacy and let's select the obj file okay and click on import so now you'll see our lovely curves here okay fantastic so next thing i want to do is select this guy here and hit tab on the keyboard to switch to edit mode okay make sure everything is selected here and then go to mesh separate separate by loose parts okay okay let's now get back to object mode okay and make sure everything is selected and next thing I want to do is convert everything into curves and so I'm gonna do this by clicking on object and I'll go all the way down here convert curves okay now as you can see here the little icons have been changed into curves icons um, so you could you could try to export this as a lambic file for unreal engine 5 but what you'll get in unreal engine 5 is an error guys mm, why is that because 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 not everything has been converted into curves if you scroll this all the way down here you can clearly see that everything hasn't been converted into curves so you what you want to do is delete those uh, loose vertex uh, around here and to do that deselect everything and go to select select all by type and select the curves okay now invert the selection click on select invert and just delete all those vertex okay now we can export it for unreal uh, as a lambic file for unreal engine 5 and just select everything click a go to file export and click on alembic there are a couple of things here you might want to change and I'm gonna change this to a hundred scale to hundred and frame start one it's gonna be fine and it's not gonna be fine I'm gonna hit, uh, type one here and then select uh, make sure to tick this one here selected object and change this to viewport and click on face sets okay now you can export it as a lambic file uh, test abc okay export it you can see the progress right here at the bottom 
Okay, all you need to do now is import that file inside Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so let's import 